What does a man gain for all his efforts that he labors under the sun? A generation goes and a generation passes, but the earth remains forever, just as the sun rises and the sun sets, panting, and it returns to its place where it goes. Many of you have heard of the American dream. For some, it's an education with a prosperous career to follow. For others, a career, a house, a car, money, prestige, you name it. But here is a man who has seen it all for what it is. The culture of the American dream has nothing more than vanity and chasing after the wind. Hey amigos, what's happening? Hey, check this out. I've got another bagger in my garage, man, and check it out who it belongs to. You may have heard of this guy, you may not have, but uh, I've got a little bit of a house guest for the weekend who just happened to stop by and get such a pleasant surprise and have none other than who was known on YouTube land, Scooter Tramp Scotty. This guy has been living on his motorcycle for the last 25 years, or well, since 1994. 24 right? years. 24 years, yeah. And he's on his way to God knows where, because uh mexico it's gonna be winter i'm going to deep down and deep in yeah right on right on he's here visiting and so because you know he's got a a shower and a washing machine <laughs> and it's cold outside and there's heat in the time yeah that's true house. too yeah there's more yeah. reasons yeah i knew there was a reason i came yeah so definitely <laughs> definitely but you happen to be passing through uh i met, met this guy last spring i think it was so i'm on youtube just like everybody else has and then of course you know when i find somebody on youtube i think they're pretty cool i go like everybody else, they tried to find him on Facebook. So I found him on Facebook and that boom, he accepted my friend request. And then I left him alone because I figured he's of some kind of rock star status. And the last thing, somebody of that kind of status, a high profile wants to be bothered by everybody who admires him. So come on, so, I have all the chicks. Yeah, well, mm, rock stars. Mm. Well, oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. But he happened to be, be, be passing through my area last spring, and uh, one thing leads to another. He's in my driveway. I don't want to bore you with those details. This is a little bit of a different video. We're just gonna get out and gallivant around. Probably go over to Slidell, Louisiana, and uh, check out the, what they're doing at the Harley shop over there. I hear they're doing something for the vets because it's Veterans Weekend, and free food and all that fun stuff. So uh, without any uh, further ado, I guess we're going to get onto the road and just make a day of it. The price of clean laundry is high. <laughs> we got to hang out together. <laughs> sitting and editing on my next video last night and I hear something in the driveway it sounded like I didn't know if it was a truck or a motorcycle or what I get up off the couch I look out the window and lo and behold there he is scooter tramp Scotty and I said well how about that so anyway he's on his way back from the east headed west and headed to Mexico in other words heading south for the winter because it is starting to get a little bit on the chilly side of things even here in the south even so for somebody who lives outside most of the time like Scotty in 1994 he decided to, to just sell everything he has and just take what he can take on his motorcycle and just split and it hasn't looked back ever since he lives a very interesting life he goes where he goes where, wherever he wants to go whenever he wants to go and stays however long he wants to stay so yeah, here it is, Saddle Tramp, riding with the, the Scooter Tramp Scotty, the king of all Scooter Tramps. And I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below in the description, so you guys who do not know who this guy is can go and check him out. He's got a lot of interesting content. His stories are something to be heard. His stories from his life on the road and just living as a motorcycle vagabond. So me and Scotty are just going to come down here, hang out, get some free food, and just play the day by ear. Maybe you guys will get to hear his story. And so until we get to the Harley shop, we'll see you guys there. One thing that is rare nowadays is something that has been manufactured away from the motorcycle community in general. 
Scotty is part of the remnant who is 90% or even better prepared for the inevitable maintenance and mechanical failures that are certain to come with a life on the road. While we were parked at the Harley dealership in Slidell, he decided to address an oil leak that was coming from a pushrod tube. While asking him about the issue at the moment, and whether or not this kind of thing is part of this way of being, this is pretty much what he had to say. I used to have Screaming Eagle heads on this I got somewhere, and I tried them for a while. When I put that s, &S engine in them, in this, a friend of mine wanted those heads. So when I got the engine out, I popped the heads off, gave them, sold them to him, and put my stock ones back on, put the engine back together, put it in a box, and left it. Now I put it in, and sometimes I just didn't get that. It's just a, a bug. I didn't get that thing. I think it's right here. That's what I think it is. Sometimes when you put first put them together, Push rod tubes will leak. You gotta open them up, play with them some, and I ain't gonna do it now, it's hot. I think there's two ways. One is you get a cheap, you can't get payments because if you had payments, you'd have to work. You wouldn't be able to travel all the time. But if you get a, you can either get an old bike that you can fix, because 100,000 miles isn't much to us. My last bike had over half a million. Your maintenance intervals are closer together. Or the other option is to get a cheap jab bike, 3,500 bucks, ride it until it's got 80 or 100 thou on it, get another one. No? No, I was just asking the front desk. I said, there's a goddamn motorcycle parked out there. You know, where is he? Move. I know, I ain't that popular. I heard about that family in Mexico. We all heard about it. All Mormons. Some folks here recognize Scotty just out of the blue. Apparently this happens to him every once in a while, you know? But I guess that's what happens when they make videos on the internet. Well, not just from videos on the internet, but also from one of the many ways that Scotty has made his living on the road throughout the years. And one of those ways is the many articles that he has written for Easy Rider and as well as other motorcycle magazines throughout the time as this man here has recognized him because of that, as you'll see. I walked up and it's like, ooh, that's an old bike and it's got, you know, the older style saddlebags, the pre-93s, and it's like, oh, that's an old bike, you know? And then I sat there and look up Scotty, you know, and it's like, Scooter Tramp Scotty, it's like, shit, I don't know him, where's he at? <laughs> he gets the magazine, he's got a subscription to the mag. Cycle Source magazine, I'm in there every month. This time it wasn't YouTube, huh? It's all, no, it wasn't his time. Yeah, that's that's unusual. But it, I only covered the, the gypsy stuff, kind of life on the road, right? And that's my section there. After I think the first, the second year, I began to realize that I was gonna need a better home. I needed someplace I could come home to and relax. And, and so I began to, uh, the stuff that's usually packed up on my bike is almost all house. So I have a comfortable home now. I can go home and the bike charges the computers. It's, I got two, it charges the lighting, it charges the phone. So although technically I'm homeless, I'm not really homeless. I'm more like home free, you know? As most folks in society would choose, they have a set location called home. But like the birds of the air, the buffalo that roam the open plains, or the orca that ruled the seas, this man would venture to make the earth and the open roads his place of habitation. Not that his way is the absolute way of living for all, but it's the cares of life and the burdens of the culture that are enough to cause the inner desires of a natural born rover to ignite. With his back to society and his face towards the more desired unknown, he's left his burdens behind and with no intention of looking back. For some, it's only a dream, but for him, it's his reality. Bourbon Street, New Orleans. Hate Nasbury, San Francisco, very famous. Naja here is six foot two. When he stands up, his dreadlocks drag on the ground. He has to carry him in that hemp bag when he rides. Calgary, Canada. I met this girl at Sturgis and followed her home to Wisconsin. There's a whole story goes with her. It was a really wonderful time, but I'm not gonna bother with the story. The Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Being Ben had Billy, he gave me an opportunity to travel with him. He asked me if I would travel with him, and I was like, I gotta, this is an opportunity, this guy's been on the road a long time, what could I learn? You see this is standing right on the edge of Niagara. You see the weeds at my feet? It makes you feel small, man. You can just feel the power of it. I mean, it's running right in front of me. That's a hot springs in Oregon. 
see the creek going by. One day I rode over the mountains from San Diego into the desert and I just knew I was supposed to be out here. So in the spring of 95 I took off and did not come back. I wasn't looking to ride an endurance ride of sleeping under picnic tables. I was hoping to engineer a way that was comfortable enough to work as a long-term lifestyle. I work very hard but I don't have to work very often. So I get to spend a lot more time enjoying the stuff I'm doing. I began to write for Easy Rider and Biker Magazine back in the mid-90s. I got a YouTube now, and my interest is in Drifter Life, the realities of it. It's like some kind of the boring or not a lot going on times in between grand adventures. I ride older bikes. Maybe it's because I came up with the Evo engine. My last bike, I retired it with 534,000 on it. So we're gonna have breakdowns, and I need simple stuff because I'm not the greatest mechanic that I can fix wherever I am. If I just like to stay in a town, make it home, and stay usually two to six weeks till I feel like leaving again. Go to the next place. Well, oh, that's Scotty Carrick, who's better known as Scooter Tramp Scotty. And I uh, just figured you guys might want to get to meet this guy. And, you know, I've mentioned him in past videos. And so here he is right here in the flesh. And, uh, I'm gonna do you in your garage. Okay, he's gonna, <laughs> anyway, he's gonna do me the same way in my garage. That's like so. his world, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, appreciate you guys for watching, okay? And uh, if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for more videos coming up. Like I'm always saying all the time, I have no ideas what I'm gonna film next, but I will try to keep it interesting. So you guys keep the rubber side down and you be good to yourselves. And thanks a lot.